Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Row. In this Ascent Combat Framework video, I'm going to be merging this into Unreal Engine 10. This is a Patreon request tutorial, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to do is just right click onto your easy build system and migrate this over to your Ascent Combat Framework project. Once that's integrated, go to Windows and open up the world settings. And I'm just going to look for my ACF full or ultimate player character just to open this up. And in your components tab on your character, hit this add button and look for interaction component. And this is gonna, we're gonna be dragging that BP easy building system interaction component. And now I'm gonna go over to my easy building system folder and open up the character that is in there. So you'll go to the easy building system folder, go to blueprints, character, and open up this BP EBS builder character. And while I'm in my BP EBS build character, I'm just going to click on this interaction component and compare it to the one I have in my ACF character and match these. So I'm going to undo the tick. I'm going to take out this interaction widget class. So in my BP EBS build character, I'm just going to copy this character interaction events, highlight over it, copy it and paste it into my ACF character event graph like so. And I just want to move it down and I'm going to hit compile. And I, there's a few things that I need to do. So I just need to create a variable for all of these. And now back in my BP EBS build character, I'm going to copy paste this change interaction stance inputs right into or under my, under where I pasted the other stuff. And it should let you compile without any errors. And I'm just going to select these two um, comments and just change it to something like blue, just so I know it's from easy building system. Hit compile, save. And now I'm going to go back to my BP EBS character and there's this function called on rep underscore interaction stance. I'm going to right click, copy this, go to my ATF ultimate character and under functions, I am just going to paste this function. And now back in my BP EBS character, I'm going to copy this tool mesh, just copy it and paste it into my ACF character under my mesh. So I'm going to paste it right here. And now you'll say, you'll see that it says tool mesh one, but this one just says tool mesh. So I am just going to go over to my components, right click on, I'm just going to right click on the one that says tool mesh, replace references. And I'll look at, I'll click on this drop down under my ACF ultimate player BP and then click tool mesh one. And then I'll select find and replace all references. So now you'll see that it's caching and I'll wait for that. And now you'll see some variable mess ups here. So what I'm going to do is just delete my tool mesh, click delete, and then I'll just change the tool mesh one to tool mesh and I'll just replug this pin or I'll hit compile and I'll reconnect that tool mesh for the function that we created, the on rep interaction stance, hit compile and save. And now I need to open the game mode or player controller for my BP EBS character. So I'm just going to click on this and hold control B to go to its folder. And then I'm going to go back and look for the game folder and open up this BP underscore EBS player controller. And I'll just double click on the event graph over here. And it says copy these events into your player controller class. But before that, I'm going to first select interaction component resources and building, right click, copy, and actually paste this into my ACF player controller. So when I go to full map, I'm going to look for that player controller class, double click to open up this ACF full player controller BP and just copy this here or paste it here, hit compile and save. And back in my EBS or easy building system player controller in the event graph, you'll see that there's this warning event tick. I'm going to double click to open this up and you'll see under interfaces that it is using a BPI EBS player with building resources and code look, code lock. And if I were to go to the class settings of this, you'll see that the implemented name interfaces shows BPI EBS player. So I'm just going to add this interface, this BPI EBS player to my ACF player controller by going to the ACF player controller, class settings, and then under implemented interfaces, I'm going to add that by adding that EBS underscore player, just like this and hit compile and save. And now you'll see that after implementing that interface under the event, under the interface tab, under interfaces, you'll see this BPI EBS player, and it has the same things that we have in our easy building system player controller. So this is exactly what we need to get started.
But under the Check Resources BPI, I'm going to double click to open this and create some space in between. And I'm going to go back to my BP EBS player controller and look for that same and look for that Check Resources BPI. And you'll see that it's a bit different. So I'm just going to copy these, hold Control C. I don't need the beginning or the end, the check node or the return node. And then I'll just paste this in just like this. And I'll just make sure that these are connected properly. The result will come out as a result. Connect the execution pin and connect this resources array to this resources in the Check Resources and hit compile and save. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for my get resources BPI. So go to my BP EBS or easy building system, go to my get resources BPI, and I'll just copy these two, go back to my ACF full player controller and paste this in. And I'll just connect these resources array to the return node, hit compile. And if you want, you can just copy over that comment box Hit compile and save. And down here, there's a check requirements BPI. And you'll see that it's empty in my ACF full player controller BP. So I'm just gonna copy it from the one in my easy building system player controller, copy over all of it and just paste it into my ACF full player like so. So I'll just delete that return node that was previously in there and just connect this. And then I'll hit compile. And then after hitting compile, you'll probably get this error. That's because I just need to connect this handle to the data table row handle hit compile and that will fix the errors out. And now back in my BP easy building system player controller, I am just going to double click on the event graph to get back here. And under the variables, you'll see view mode, shift press and loading build them or loaded building objects. So I'm just going to drag these out into their get just like this. And I'll just copy these over into my ACF full player controller BP in the event graph. And now I'll just copy paste these into my event graph and make sure that they match. I'll hit compile and I'm just going to right click and create these variables for view mode, shift press and loaded building objects and make sure that it matches the variable type that's displayed over here. So BP EBS building, just like that. And then this is a type Boolean, just like that. And this one is Everything's off and it says third person is the view mode. I'll hit compile and change this to third person. So now you'll see something here where it says category. I'm just going to go over to my loaded building objects, copy paste this, go back to my ACF player BP and just paste this into the variable itself. So just like that, hit compile. And then the same thing for the view mode where it says inputs. So copy paste this inputs into the ACF one. And I'll just drag that into the input section of my variables. And then I can go ahead and delete these. I'm just going to go up back to the event graph and copy this building event and paste it into my ACF full player controller BP and change the name to just building events. I don't want that underscore two. And now when I click into this, you're going to see a ton of errors pop up where all these reds are, for example. So I'm just going to go over to file and click refresh all nodes recompile and it should work. And now I'll go back to my player controller for the easy building system and copy these inputs, go back to my ACF full player controller BP and just go to the event graph and paste it next to it. And I'm going to change the name from inputs to, to just regular inputs and hit compile and save. And now we're going to go through the, in the event graph and the inputs, we're going to delete quite a few things we don't need, such as the pawn movement, because that's already set up by ACF for us. We also don't need the camera control. I'm just going to unplug this interaction. I'm going to leave it here just in case maybe I can add this to ACF because I'm sure the meshes would all need to be configured. All the meshes that come with this would probably need to be configured to work with ACF, which won't really be hard to do. And actually scratch that, go back to your ACF full player BP and connect this interaction. We won't release, we won't get rid of this just yet. And now I'm going to go over to the demo stylized map in Unreal Engine that's in the easy building systems map folder. And I'm just going to go ahead and click play and start making my way towards that house up there. Um, so for example, but the interaction does work. So you can just interact with the door. For example, you can go inside and play around with this. You, even when you hover over these walls and window frames and stuff, it will show up. And if I wanted to just, let's say, add on to the house, I would click Q to open the building menu as it says here. 
and I want to try to find some sort of foundation. So I'll do something like a like a dummy foundation. And then I can click E where I'm pointing at, for example, to place it just like that. And if I try to place something where it doesn't go, it just doesn't work. But all in all, at least it does work. And this is exactly what we're looking for. And you can see that it says dummy foundation with 2,500 HP. And that is exactly how you merge easy building systems with Ascent Combat Framework. Thanks for watching Code with Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. I know there are a lot of steps, and this is one of my longer videos. My description for Discord and Patreon are in the description below. You can donate via Ko-Fi if you found this video helpful. Please feel free to share it with others. I know there are quite a few people who are looking to merge ACF with Easy Building System. And remember that Easy Building System is a free asset. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Also, side note, if you are getting some errors, you can just undo this interaction notify component and it will tell you in the compiler for your ACF ultimate character. Thanks for watching. Cut it there, like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next. I'll see you in the next video.